And that symbol means the water's getting hot. Good morning, how are you? Uh, I thought I would do this again today, what I did yesterday, but I was going to use the Peruvian. That's the cocoa and almond notes. <laughs> in, a, in a iced coffee. So, and I thought I would do it the right way. I've got a zeroed out here. I'm gonna zero it out again. And then I'm gonna figure out how much ice is 200 grams. <laughs> Now, this wonderful machine over here that just makes ice. It's like magic. Violent. 190. Well, that's pretty close. I'll go with that. <laughs> that. Sounds good. All right, so 190. We got 190 in there. And I'm gonna take this. And we're gonna measure out. I'm gonna do 40 grams of this again. Cause that seemed like a good ratio for me yesterday with the uh, Bones Coffee Company Salty Siren. So we're gonna do 40 in this. Ooh, wow, my perfect one yet. We do 40 of this and it smells so good. I'm excited. Uh, iced coffees, regardless of what my mother said on Facebook, tastes really good. <laughs> and we're starting to warm up here. So it's like, you know, we need a, we need something. I'm going to do this too. This is just water. And this is a misting thingy. And give it a couple pumps. And then I want to see. Kind of shit. <laughs> A couple more pumps here and we'll see what. Splits. Splits, okay. That should be enough. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see if we can keep our chaff down. Here we go. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Got out as much as I put in. That's pretty good. Um, I don't see any boulders. Seems filter ground. It looks great. I'm going to wet this over here so that I don't heat up the Chemex. Plus I already put ice in there. So that is all set. How are we doing over here? Ooh, 140. All right. So, so I thought about this the other day. Um, the Island Roasters on New Smyrna um, could not aptly describe how amazing that place was what was to walk into. Um, you know, th there are coffee uh, people here in Columbus. I've been to two coffee shops that are, you know, single origin, that kind of thing. I'd never been into a coffee shop where the roaster was just off to the side, you know, doing its thing in plain view of everybody else. That to me was super cool. Um, but I'll tell you what was funny. I, uh, I went on, uh, on to Yelp to see the reviews uh, after the fact. Just curiosity killed me. And you know, how, you know how I am. I am a huge purveyor of everybody's opinion is their own and valid, especially when it comes to food, when it comes to their own tastes in food and drink and coffee and, and lawn care and flowers and you know, I mean, it's fine. It's perfectly fine and there's nothing wrong with that. That's your taste. It may not be mine, but you no, know, that's valid. But there was a review and it was a two star review and I'm like, what, why? everything that happened during my transaction was as good as it could get, I would think. Maybe the barista had an off day. Maybe the coffee didn't turn out as well as they had hoped, or, you know, they bought a bag and it wasn't great. You know, for some reason, again, off day, something like that. So I, I looked and it's like two stars. I ordered a latte and it was just a latte. Two stars. What is that? I mean, there's 
I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. That's I, that to me. That's somebody looking to just complain. And it's been it's it bothered. It's been bothering me since we got back because I looked it up when we got back. I'm like, you know, you just want to look at the area one last time. Maybe we'll be back someday. Maybe we won't. It's hard to say. And you know, I said, oh, Yelp reviews. Wow, there's a two star review. Why is and it, it's it's reviewed very well. And this is the only two star review. And it just it didn't make any sense. It's like two stars. That's not even close. Why are you boiling out? You're not that full. Let's put you back over this way. There we go. Another, another 20 degrees. But yeah, it's like, what? Makes sense. Make that make sense. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. I, and you know, like I said, your, your opinion on a show, your opinion on a food, your opinion on drink, your opinion on wood flooring, your opinion on this carpet, you know, uh, the refrigerator type, you know, they may not be based on you know, a fact or anything like that. It may just be based on a feeling, but that feeling is valid. And I will, you know, I will say that every time. Um, it doesn't matter what my personal taste is or how I feel about a specific thing. When it comes to something as taste in food, you know, or taste in colors, you know, or on flooring, you know, that, that kind of thing. When it comes to something like that, you know, your taste is your own and that's great. You should have it. There are things where that does not work, but and that's for another video. But um, the <clears throat> just blew my mind. It's like the latte. I ordered a latte, and it was just a latte. I, <sighs> wow. Thanks, lady. That's so helpful. That will definitely help me develop something better along the way. Your feedback. Thanks a lot. <sighs> anyway, all right, so we've got 200 grams of ice in there, which actually is 191, and I'll try to remember that. And then we're going to put in 300 grams of water, but we're going to put 100 in first to get it nice and bloomed. Oop. Hmm. Okay. And then we're going to... Give it a little shuffle here. Let's make sure everything gets wet. Oh shoot, I didn't start my timer. We will take that as 30 seconds now. Okay, so let's go and put the rest of the 200 grams in there. So it'll equal 300. <laughs> the two, I already put in 100. I'm putting in an extra. 302. Okay. 302. Oh, that's already kind of found its way out, hasn't it? Oh, dear. Maybe I need a little bit more water. Maybe we'll do another 50 grams of water. And we'll see how that works out. Three seven and three sixty. Should put an extra little bit in there for B three sixty five. That's all right. Give it a little stir one way, stir the other way. Yeah, that drained through really quickly, and that might be because I didn't take it down to a fifteen. It was a twenty, so I put it in twenty on the baritza instead of a ten or a fifteen. So the drawdown may be a little bit quicker. Yeah, that bed ain't swirling. All right, we'll see how this turns out. It just seems like when you, <laughs> it's kind of funny, and I don't mean to call Bones Coffee like easy mode. It's obviously not, but it seems like every, everything I've done with Bones Coffee has been easy has been like, it's there, it does what it's supposed to do, you know, and you don't have to think twice about it. 
and that's pretty cool. Um, and then you, you graduate, which again sounds like a terrible thing to say because it's not like these, it's, it's not an elementary thing, it's not, a, it's not a child's thing, it's a coffee thing. And you kind of move down the line to the next one. So let's pull this out. We are still looking pretty warm here. That out of the road. The coffee's the coffee's cool to the touch. It's just the the rest of the decanter is heated up because it's uh it just had hot coffee poured through it. So yeah, it's just it's just really funny how you know the 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 bones coffee is just grind, pour, swirl, done. And this seems like the training wheels are off now. You know, this is, this is real life and you know, there are no more training wheels. So anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And I will say that that's not a bad bed. So I don't think anything went wrong as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'll keep swirling it a little bit. Yeah, this is, this is nice and cool. It's, it's working out a lot better than it did yesterday, I think. Hmm. It smells very, hmm. Oh, it smells very nice. Coffee. It smells like coffee. And it's going to smell like iced coffee. Okay. Uh, they're mowing outside. First mow of uh, spring. Which I think is pretty cool. And I'm sure that enough old people have yelled at them. Yeah. They had to send, this, send out a, a notification saying, please don't yell at the people working. They have, they, they're doing what they are told to do. <laughs> You know, I mean, when you, when you send out that communication, it's like, you've already lost, you know? Uh, the, the people are horrible. <laughs> so, let's pour this. It's actually kind of funny because I think that there's more coffee in here than there was yesterday. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Nice and cool. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's a good way to drink that. I mean, it's a much quicker way to drink it. I mean, you can, you can sip it, it's fine. I'm just saying that, you know, if you gulped this down, there would be no regrets because you're not burning yourself to death. You lose a little bit of complexity, but it adds a whole lot of like creamy body to it. And it just, I don't know, it just tastes really nice. I really like that. Um, and I've got enough for half of another cup. Isn't that lovely? Oh, goodness. But yeah, so my uh, second video for the shelf dusting came out uh, this morning about uh, 11 o'clock. Um, tomorrow there will be another one. And I'm hoping to continue the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday release schedule. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a good coffee morning and I will talk to you tomorrow where we'll, we'll find something else to do. Bye.